What's going on guys, it's Cliff here again, once again, I've bumped myself up the batting order, coming in at number 3 today, looking to go, you know, for a wee bit of a slap and have a wee bit of fun, and we have got the ideal field to do it, we've got the field that really suits our style of play, but David Miller, surprisingly, is bowling, and he is firing them in at leg stump, which is not what we want, we really want him putting it outside off, so we can go and play through the covers, play down the ground, play in that wide V, like we do so well, so... Oh, God, that's an awful shot. There's just no elevation on it at all. But it's put beautifully into the gap, and we will come back for three. So a three-second ball just to get us going and get us off the mark, move things along, which is what we want to do. It's, it is it's quite strange because normally when I come in, you know, later on down the order um, in T20s, it does seem a lot easier to bat. But when I come in early, even when I'm coming up against the likes of David Miller, I just can't go and hit him. And I think that may potentially have something to do with the timing. You know, I just can't get the timing quite right straight away. George Bailey was actually bowling from the other end, which is good for me. Um, you know, another medium pace, and hopefully we can go and uh, take him for a few as well. But I don't know. It almost feels like maybe the difficulty has gone up or something because uh, George Bailey is actually bowling quite a lot quicker than he normally does. He's getting it through about 120 Ks. Oh, that's not timed at all well. Beat the fielder. Yes. I thought the fielder was going to get there, but no. We didn't play it perfectly. We played it off the front foot. It really was a shot that should have come off the back foot, but it doesn't matter. We've gone and picked up a four, moved on to seven, and that's what we've been brought in here to do. We've been brought in to go and speed up the batting, you know, just get that impetus at the top. If we come in, we only score 20. It doesn't matter. You know, we're going out there. We're scoring some quick runs. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. We've got the batting. I mean, Tommy Iqbal now is coming in at number seven. Oh, we just I just can't get any timing at all. Like the gaps are there, and I can go and play it into the gaps easily. But that's only the, the timing's not there at all. Don't really want to play the leg side just because of the field that they've got, you know? If I do get width, I could go and try and Oh what a Cliffy, what have you done? What have you done? Just nudge it into the gap. That is another classic Cliffy moment that we've seen here. But 15 off 7, it's not too bad. We've come in, and I guess, as I said, we've just given that impetus to the side. So I think Ross Taylor may be coming in uh, later on, actually. And George Bailey has just ripped it through, which is very surprising, because normally we are a very good side with the bat, and maybe me coming in up the order has gone and disrupted that possibly. So we may look at potentially going and changing that for... Oh, no, I've got a ball on the power play. Shit. Well, I don't have to. I can change, but I might bowl this first over. But maybe me coming in at number three has gone and disrupted, as I said, the order. So, ooh, I've just, I'm going to bowl. Normally, you guys know I don't bowl in the power play. Today, I'm going to bowl in there just to see if we can go and pick up an early wicket. Because, you know, we got those fielders in. If I bowl like I normally do, oh, it bloody worked perfectly, boys. Second ball, we pick up the wicket just like that. That is exactly what we wanted, that early wicket. Taming Iqbal again. Me, him, and Marlon Samuels, we've got some kind of connection going on in the field. Like, we just absolutely rock it in the field, picking up wickets. And that is what we needed. We needed that early wicket. And that is sometimes, you know, I do bitch and moan a lot of the times about bowling in the power play. But sometimes I think it isn't actually too bad. You've got the fielders in. You know, the chances are, well, the chances can be taken. But you really need to go over the top to get them. I mean, you can go and play it through cover like that. That's probably what Saywag was trying to do. But um, couldn't. In the end, managed to get there, and the, the field has actually gone and nudged that one over the rope, attempting to save the four. But, um, you know, that's what Sayweg was trying to do, and he just played it slightly uppishly. That's, oh, that may have just come off the bat, got a wee outside edge, but we are definitely going and creating chances here, which is what we like to see. As I said, I do always bitch and moan about bowling in there, but you get the opportunities, you know. The ball's new, it's swinging. We get another one. We get two in the first over. As I said, the ball is swinging, just as I say that. Boom, away it goes, Yuvraj Singh takes the catch from wicketkeeper, and all of a sudden, Kings Eleven are on the back foot. They're two down within the space of the first over, and all of a sudden, you know, it is looking, it's looking pretty good for us. You know, I'm going to keep bowling. I think, I think I'm going to keep bowling. You know, especially when we need to, we need to keep, um, we need to keep getting wickets as well, because... You know, we didn't score too many. We scored only about 140, which for our batting lineup isn't great. 
Um, normally we do have a very, very good batting lineup, and maybe that does, maybe it potentially has something to do, you know, with me coming in and bumping myself up the order. Maybe I shouldn't go and do that, but it was a lot of fun while I was in there until I went and played that stupid shot, which actually got out to the man who was on strike the previous ball, George Bailey. But uh, we just got to go and just keep it tight and hopefully go and pick up some wickets. And hopefully we can get some support from the other end as well. But it doesn't matter because today the outswingers are going absolutely crazy. It's beautiful. Outswing boys, that is all we need. Oh, left handed. We can't bowl outswing to him. Well, we can. But I might just bowl seam up. And hopefully, hopefully he goes and tries to hit down the ground. Like that. But we just got to get it uppish. We just got to get it uppish. I've been so excited. This episode's been so action packed. I can't even go and start to talk about what has been happening in the world of cricket. Last night, New Zealand, England, only T20. New Zealand, uh, I'll catch that. Ooh, that's a fine edge from David Miller. Um, New Zealand actually got a wee bit of a uh, of a hiding in the only T20 against England. They lost by, I believe, it was sixty, no, fifty six runs. Um, Joe Root, Joe Root was a man of the match. He picked up, he picked up a good old sixty. Um, but yeah, no, people, I guess New Zealand just kind of struggled in the game. Cam Williamson was the only guy who went and, and batted a significant amount of time. He had 50-odd. Brendan McCullum had 30 or so. But um, yeah, it just wasn't really working for us. Just like it's kind of not really working for us here today. We could potentially go. I think I'm going to go and bowl. I think I'm going to bowl my force outright. We've picked up three wickets in our first two overs. If we can pick up, you know, just... I was going to say, just another couple. They are going to be on the back foot. It's going to be the bowlers and the all-rounders that are coming in that are going to have to go and try and win the game for them. So this has been a great start so far. In comes the big show. What can he do here today? So, yeah, New Zealand obviously losing to England, which is a wee bit of a shame. Um, and, yeah, not really too much else going on. Just a bit of a uh, bit of Ashes banter going around. Ashes not too far away, which is very exciting. Something that I am definitely looking forward to. Um... You know, it just gives me something else to watch on the TV. Eee, I thought that was potentially coming down the ground in the air. Caught and bowled. Another caught and bowled chance. But we have rocked it bowling in the power play, you know. I don't like bowling in it normally. But hey, we've picked up Pfeiffer in the space of what? Just over two and a half overs. No. Yes. Yes, two and a half overs. We picked up Pfeiffer on the back foot big time. Cliffy is looking at a man of the match here. He didn't quite get it done with the bat. Only scored 15. But he is getting it done with the ball here today, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, 5 for 10. Ooh, I was going to say, not too bad of a shot by the Indian, wick well, sorry, I should say, test wicketkeeper, uh, Saha, obviously with MS Dhoni's retirement. But uh, we're looking here at the moment for a dot ball, which is what we get. We have a cheeky wee appeal, you know, just in case. But a dot ball completes a double wicket maiden. And all of a sudden, Kings 11 Punjab, 5 for 34. We just need someone to go down the other end and just pick us up a wicket or two. But hopefully with me bowling out, doesn't leave us short at the back end. I don't think it's going to. We have now completed the power play, which means we can go and spread the field. Which I don't know. Personally, maybe I shouldn't have gone and spread the field. Oof. The ball's still moving around quite a lot in this beautiful night at West Oval. The West Oval. God, what was I trying to say? We need to get Saha on strike. We need to get him on strike. Need to get Miller out somehow. Shouldn't really bowl outswing to him. I should bowl into his body. I was going to say, make him play that shot, and we've got it. We have got it. We've got a sixth. And all of a sudden, in come the bowlers, ladies and gentlemen. What a spell of bowling this has been from Cliffy. Rishi Darwan coming in now. And whew, I wouldn't put it past him to go and pick up another couple before all is said and done. Oh, give that. That is plum. That is absolutely plum. See you later, mate. Seven for ten. Can you believe it? This is this is some crazy stuff. There's no classic Cliffy moments going on here. This is just classic Cliffy bowling. Mitchell Johnson coming in now to face the hat-trick delivery. Would you believe it? The hat-trick delivery. Seven for ten. Here we go. Oh, and he blocks it away. He always has been fairly solid with the bat, old Mitchell Johnson. Final ball for us. We've, surely I've done enough at the start. If I haven't, I've done it there now. We get the triple wicket maiden to follow up the double wicket maiden. And we have 8 for 10. Can you believe it? 8 for 10 in our four overs. That is just 
incredible. Murley Kartik coming in now, and it should be a pretty uh, comprehensive, we got there in the end, walk in the park home for the rest of the bowlers. Cliffy's got to pick up man of the match for that, surely. High fives all around. We didn't get it done with the bat today, but we did get it done with the ball. Cliffy just in the background there being very, very sneaky. Somehow, well, Yuvraj Singh really carried us through in that game. His 69 not out really got us to, I, you know, I didn't think it was going to be a defendable score, but we still somehow made it onto the batting charts. That's how badly we batted today. But that 8 for 10, you guys can't see, but man of the match, T. Cliff. I don't know if you can see it, actually. But yeah, 8 for 10, 8 for 10 off four overs. That is absolutely incredible. That is the stuff that dreams are made of. Anyway guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Check out my Facebook and my Twitter. Links will be down below in the description. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to have some more virtual tennis looking to go. I think we may potentially have a doubles partner now. So some doubles tournaments could be coming up along with some singles tournaments. Hope you guys are having a good start to your week and we will see you tomorrow.